Communities are cracking down on illegal ATV and dirt bike use. It's an ongoing problem that cities and towns are working to address. In New Haven, just this past weekend, riders blocked a busy intersection in an apparent street takeover. News 8's Eva Zamaris joins us live from New Haven. Eva, what are police doing to combat this? Good evening to you, Darren and Ann. New Haven Police work with other departments as well, not just here in Connecticut, but all across the region. Today, we got a much closer look at that work. Inside these storage containers are rows of ATVs and dirt bikes. This is a small sampling of our uh, seized ATVs and dirt bikes that we've got from prior arrests. There are several other storage facilities in New Haven, just like this one, that are filled with bikes seized by the police. New Haven police officer Christian Bruckhart showing them to us on Tuesday. They're not all part of one investigation. This is, uh, you know, different arrests or bikes that we've seized uh, that were part of events that like we had over the weekend. On Saturday night, an apparent street takeover was captured on video. In it, you can see ATVs and dirt bikes blocking the Whaley Avenue and Amity Road intersection, bringing traffic to a halt. We don't want to see anyone get hurt. So whether our officers, the public, the riders themselves. They work closely with other police departments from across the state and region to crack down on illegal ATV and dirt bike use with details dedicated to taking these bikes off city streets. We can't get them the day of, you know, there's always warrants and things that we can do uh, sort of behind the scenes. In their real time crime center, they can monitor cameras, which show these riders making their way through New Haven on Saturday. Officer Bruckhart says, especially for these bigger rides, they'll come in from other states. Sometimes they come in on pickup trucks or U-Hauls, so we'll work to identify uh, who rented those vehicles. In New Haven this year, police say they've seized 25 bikes. So far, one was seized from this weekend's event. There is a process to get them back. Um, with the uh, help of the uh, Mayor Elliker, they, we were able to increase fines for riding illegally. So right now it starts at $1,000 and it can go up from there. So it gets pretty expensive pretty quickly. There's a criminal aspect to this too. Officer Bruckhart says you might also have to go to court. Other communities are taking action as well. In Waterbury Monday night, the Board of Aldermen voted to approve ordinance amendments for stricter enforcement and penalties. Their off-road vehicles keep them off the road. Anyone with information about this weekend's incident is being asked to contact New Haven Police right away. Live in New Haven tonight, I'm Eva Zamaris, News 8.